Port Stephen's koalas are in trouble. From a population of thousands 20 years ago, they've been reduced to just a few hundred. In 2002, Port Stephen's Council, in collaboration with the Koala Foundation, put together their comprehensive koala plan of management to preserve the koalas. They mapped koala habitat in Port Stephens and have used this to plan development in the area. Blue being primary or preferred habitat and pink being secondary or supplementary habitat. But if you study the habitat map and look a bit more closely at what's supposed to be primary habitat, things don't look so good. This is supposed to be primary habitat. Instead it's 12 hectares of banksia scrub on the top of a peak. This primary habitat is 10 hectares of coastal heath, barely chest high and also on a peak. This primary habitat is 22 hectares of sedge marsh. The trees around the edge are mapped as secondary habitat. And primary habitat doesn't stay prime for too long when people start cutting it down to improve their water views. The comprehensive koala plan of management has been in place for 14 years and in that time our koala population has been reduced to a mere handful. Developments go ahead despite evidence of active koalas in the area. This is a development at Soldiers Point. One koala was found dead shortly after work began and another had to be relocated. This is a corridor to the Wanda wetlands, but the development went ahead anyway. And this development was just spectacular in its habitat destruction. Progress at any cost. Koala management is the responsibility of local councils. If those councils are run by intelligent, rational people, the koalas might have a chance. But if a council is run by miners and developers, there's a clear conflict of interests and the koalas just become an obstacle that must be removed. The result is, this becomes this. And then it's too late and there's no going back. Our local koala population is facing extinction unless the management is taken out of the hands of Port Stephens Council. Are we to tell our children, yeah, there were koalas here once, but we looked away and then there were none. <laughs>